Hey yo, Curdy Cool is back again. Shout out to all you beautiful people out there, yo. And all the people out there who is supporting Curdy Cool, yo. Supporting Curdy Cool and his true story out here. I mean, I got some questions for Patricia Robinson, yo. I mean, this woman throughout all the years, she destroyed my baby's life, my baby's connection. Now, I'm going to start from the baby years, Patricia Robinson. You took away all the baby years, Patricia Robinson. Now, how does that feel? You ran and hid out with my new baby. Now, y'all check this. I never seen my baby first crawl. I never seen her first walk, her first talk. When she was reaching out, dead, 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 dead. You took all of that away. Now, you took away all the baby years. I never heard her voice. Now, I was out there in California, yo, years ago. I mean, these, these people... They dogged Curdy Koo out so bad. Once they took a newborn baby, ran out of the hospital, yeah, hid out all the time. They would not let me have no kind of contact. They would not let me see my daughter. They did not answered the phone. They did not answer the door. All of these crazy people, y'all, was in on this conspiracy together. You know what I mean? How, how do you think that feel, Patricia Roberts? I want you to answer that question for Curdy Cool. How you think that feel, huh? A newborn baby. That's not even your blood baby. You don't have no kind of connections, no kind of way. But because you adopted this, what, adopted daughter, but it's the way that you took her and you was fighting against her, Veronica Robinson, to not let her have her pure blood father. You fought it against that grown ass woman that girl during the time to not have her own pure blood father and this is what you have been doing throughout the years fighting against fathers who are fathers to their own babies their own kids so now yeah this woman hit out baby I'm talking about head out. Curry Cool was out here, yo. A genuine father who loved his baby, yo. I communicated with my daughter inside of the womb, yo. She connected and bonded with her father inside of the womb. When the baby mother could not deal with all the complications Throughout all the trimesters, yeah, the first two trimesters was the worst complicated trimesters there was, yo. Yeah. This baby mother, she could not deal with the pain, yo. Yeah. So guess what? Patricia Robinson and her so-called best friend, Beth help them to bring Veronica to my house, yo.
to see what I could do to help calm her nerves and to help her through these difficult trimesters, y'all. Now, I'm a blessed father over here, y'all. Guess what now? So, Beth called me. I don't know what we are going to do over here. I don't know what Patricia is going to do. I don't know what Veronica is going to do. Oh, she's having a very difficult pregnancy. Oh, she can't deal with the pain and the suffering. All oh, this stuff is so difficult. She has been to the doctor and they are telling her all kind of stuff. Y'all like, she is losing it. We don't know what to do at this point. So now, I I, I said, uh, hey, uh, just tell them to, to, to bring her to my house. And I'll see what I could do. So they bring the baby mother to my house, yo. I mean, Patricia Robinson just walked to the front door with all her things, yo. And just hey, hey, take, take her, just, just, just take her, take, take her, just take her, Kurt, just, 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 just take her. And before I mean take everything and put it inside, Patricia Robinson was gone, yo. You, you, you deal with her. So now, Curtie, cool, yo, I'm like, okay. So I said, I asked the baby mother, what is the problem? Oh, I'm, 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 I'm having so many complicated problems. I don't know what to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know how to deal with this. I've been to the doctor. There's nothing else they could do. I mean, I'm kind of losing it. Y'all check this out. So, Curdy Cool is the blessed father with the blessed hands, y'all. So, I, I, I just calmly said, well, just come into the bedroom, lie down on your back. I am going to talk to Alexa inside of the womb, y'all. So I started rubbing the baby mother's stomach, y'all. I mean, you can hear the heartbeat. Boom, boom, boom. I was rubbing her stomach, y'all. And I said, Alex, this is your father. Your father loves you. Your father always loved you. You are meant to be blessed. Alexa, blessed Henderson. I said, Alexa, your father wants your mother to be able to relax and be healthy so that she could eat and be strong. I said, if you hear Pops talking inside of the womb, Alex, just knock, just knock. She would kick or knock or do something, y'all. Ooh, ooh, check that out. Ooh, she listened. She listened to her dad. So now... She kind of, like, get excited. Ooh. And then she just kind of calmed down, yo. So now, Curry Cool, I said, you are going to have to relax inside of the womb because your mother is experiencing a very difficult pregnancy, and this is causing her a whole lot of hardship. Please, just relax. All daddy wants you to do is just relax inside of the womb. Let mom eat, let her sleep, so that she can be healthy and strong for you and me. So all of a sudden she just got so excited once again. Ooh, and then all of a sudden she just relaxed. All of a sudden the baby mother's like, oh, okay. Look, she listened to you. Now she is so relaxed. She is so calm. Now the baby mother, I want something to eat. Get me something to eat. So now I, I run out and I get her some food and she eats real good. And now she's just totally calm and relaxed because Alex had her father and she felt my presence around inside of the womb. My daughter bonded with me inside of the womb. That was one of God's miraculous miracles because 
God already knew that this wicked family was going to take away all the bonding and take her away from her father once she got into this world, y'all. So, Pops said, Alexa Bless Henderson will be your name because you are blessed. And your pop is here for you. I mean, I was talking to her, to her inside of the womb, yo. And she would get so excited inside of the womb. And she would knock back like she knew exactly what was going on, yo. So, the amazing thing here, yo. After I get her healed, get the baby mother healed. Now, she goes home. Now, it, it happened like this for another month or two. So they kept bringing the baby mother back to the house. I kept laying hands and talking to my daughter inside of the womb. And so finally, that third, fourth trimester finally rolled around. Now, she was healthy, y'all. Yeah. But here's the thing. After they took the baby inside of the hospital, they ran and hid out, yo. Yeah. I'm talking about like five, six months, y'all would not let Curdy Cool have no kind of contact to his own flesh and blood, y'all. I'm talking about this damn scammer, y'all, Patricia Robinson, y'all. Now, I got this woman healed. I helped my daughter all the way through the difficult times inside of the womb. I helped this baby mother all the way through, pull her up, nurture her, heal, help heal her. And now once our daughter come into the world, this organized conspiracy here, yeah, was just the beginning, y'all, to the pain and suffering that me and my daughter was going to be going through behind these crazy ass people, y'all. So they ran and hid out. Five or six months, they would not let me see my daughter. They would not let me talk to her. They would not let me know how she was doing or nothing. Hit out five months, yo. So I had to get these people served, yo, just to see my baby, yo. Her and Beth, ooh, they were so evil and wicked together. They had Beth calling me, cursing me out, telling me to stay away from my own baby. Beth was Patricia Robinson's best friend, but to show you, God don't like ugliness. That woman was so, sorry to say, but she was so evil toward me as well, right along with Patricia Robinson. Calling my house, y'all, cursing me out. Telling me to stay away from my own newborn baby when all I was doing was being a father to my own baby. You just stay away from her. You don't call that house. You don't do this and you don't do that. I mean, they just had their whole team to attack Curdy Cool, yeah. So to show you guys how God do not like ugliness. So that woman, she she made things difficult right along with Patricia Robinson. So now, first, Patricia Robinson's husband dies. Secondly, what? Somewhere down the line, now Patricia Robinson's best friend dies yeah. to show you guys that God do not like ugliness within these wicked people. So he took Beth out, Charlie out. I mean, these people was evil toward Curdy Cool, yeah. They ran and hid out. I mean, somehow some videos got out. I was able to see the videos and they would like just have so many gifts in one room y'all just pile up 
You know what I mean? Just selling my daughter out to all these gifts. This is what it's all about. We got you. We give you the world right here before your eyes. And my, my daughter was looking like she didn't know what was going on. This, this is like just too big for me. Now, y'all overly powering me with all these gifts. But she, she would pick up one, throw it down, pick up another one, throw it down. She was looking like a, wow. Just pick it up, look at it, throw it down. Pick it up, look at it, throw it down. So now she's like, and, 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 and every now and then you would see, yo, that it was something missing in her life. She would, she would go to a pause and she would look like she would have that look like, I knew I had a father and I heard my father's voice when I was inside of the womb now I do not have that no more. All I hear is these wicked people around me. But I'm not hearing my father. What's up with this? Who Alexa this? Who Alexa this? Alexa that? Alexa this? Alexa that? I mean, they bought her out with all them doggone gifts. Yeah. I mean. But anyway, they hid my daughter out. Five, six months, y'all. I had to take these people to court, y'all. Finally. And guess what? On the first visit, I had to pay $250 just to see my own newborn baby, y'all. My own firstborn baby girl. Now, Patricia Robinson made everything so difficult, yo. They rolled my daughter inside of the place, yo. My six, seven month baby, yo, just broke down and started crying. I did not have to say not a one word. When they rolled her in, and from a distance, yo, it was like a slow motion. I was walking toward they was rolling her in. And I was looking like, wow, my baby girl that they kept away from me. And she and she she was looking down like this. Then all of a sudden she looked up, y'all. And she was looking just like her daddy, y'all. It was like my my twin all over again, y'all. She looked up and, and, it, and it was nothing else to say but that's my daddy. And I said, Alex, daddy's here. She just broke down and started crying, y'all. She remembered the voice inside of the womb. She just reached out and broke down and started crying like, where have you been? Why, why, are, they, why are they doing this to me and to you? So now she's, she's crying and, and I'm like, please don't. Don't worry, it's gonna be all right. Daddy loves you. I I don't understand none of this, just like you don't understand. I said I'm out here just trying to be a father to my daughter, and and they do me like this and do this to you. I said please don't cry, Alexa. Please. Then all of a sudden she stopped crying. And then all of a sudden she bubbled up, started smiling, you know, and she started hugging her daddy. Yo, and I'm like. Wow, this girl really loves her dad. So now it's like, it seemed like that hour visit went by so fast, y'all. It's like, it was like an intense moment. This girl wanted her father and they stole her father away from her. So now Patricia Robinson behind the scene, y'all. Make everything so difficult every time, y'all. I mean, I've gone through so much with that crazy-ass woman and that crazy-ass family, yeah. So I couldn't deal with it no more. I had lost my job. Everything was going wrong at the same time. Patricia Robinson put a hit out on me. I mean, I'm going through it, y'all, out there in California, y'all. So this woman did not try to support Curry Cool no kind of way. Y'all know what I mean? 
hey, this is your baby. I mean, you, you love your baby. All she had to say was, okay, I don't want you to get together with the baby mother. I'm going to be honest with you. She is receiving SSI. If you mess around and try to marry her, all of us will lose our check. Now, all she had to do was tell Curtis Cool Dad, you know. So it was a mixture of she thought I was going to run out, run off with the baby mother. The checks was going to stop. The baby mother was going to run off. And that she would be stuck in the cold trying to figure out how she was gonna, going to deal with her lifestyle with all her bills, y'all. You know what I mean? So anyway, that woman dogged my baby out, y'all. Some eight months she was crying, y'all. After that first visit, I put her down into the stroller. She started crying all over again, y'all. I put her in the stroller, and, and she sit there for a moment with her head down. I'm serious, y'all. Seven-month-old baby. And she looked up at me one more time like, I'm not going to see my dad no more. She had that teary-eyed look, y'all. <sighs> she started crying again, and then she just went like that, y'all. And then when they turned the buggy, all I could see was her eyes going like this here. She was trying to see her dad. Trying to see her dad, y'all, as they rolled her out of the place, y'all. I mean, she was looking just like that. Till she couldn't see me no more. She was still looking. Still looking. And all of a sudden, she couldn't see me no more. He got her to the front door, y'all. She just dropped her head. And they pulled the veil down over her eyes. And rolled her out. Them dogs, they dog, they dog that girl, y'all. So now I'm Curdy Cool dealing dealing with this situation. So I asked this Patricia Robinson, how do you think that it feels you took away her first walk that I never seen? You took away her first time Saying dad, dad to her father. You took that away. You took away her first birthday of not having her father. You took away the second birthday of her not having her father. And so on, all the way up to her 16th birthday, may as well say. Now y'all check this out now. 16 years goes by. This Patricia Robinson is, is enjoying all the mother's days and the grandmother's days with the baby mother. I mean, enjoying every year from one year all the way on up, y'all, to right at 16. Enjoying all the baby years. She enjoyed all the baby years. But that narcissist, grandma, took away all of the baby years. Away from Curdy Cool and this girl not having her father because of selfish, selfishness, bitterness, wickedness, evilness, and being hateful. You know what I mean? So now I never seen her first birthday. I never heard a voice. So, how do you think that feel, narcissist Patricia Robinson? You never allowed it me to say, or for my daughter to say, Happy Father's Day to her own loving father. You never allowed it me, uh, or, or allowed it her to say, Happy Father's Day, Happy Birthday to her father. Hey, Daddy, it's Christmas. I'm enjoying the Christmas out here in California. You never let her enjoy nothing with her father. 
Patricia Robinson and this narcissist family, they took it all the way. All the baby years of my daughter to not have her blood father in her life. Took away all the baby years from Curdy Cool, y'all. I will never see those baby years. And y'all, 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 guess what, y'all? These narcissists were so cold-blooded, y'all. They wouldn't send me a picture her first year birthday. They wouldn't send me no picture of her first walk, y'all. They wouldn't send me no picture of her first crawl, y'all. They wouldn't send me no picture of her second birthday, a third birthday, a fourth birthday, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, on up to 16, y'all. So they kept it all the way. And they dog curry cool out. Patricia Robinson was getting off on Curdy Cool's melon. The pretty baby with the smooth skin and the beautiful look. She was getting off on my melon. She lost her husband. God already knew what Patricia Robinson was going to do. So God took her husband away. You know what I mean? Because God already knew what that woman was going to do to Curdy Koo and his newborn baby. And then for her best friend, Beth, to intervene into my relationship, get involved with my situation, other people getting involved into my situation, trying to tell Curdy Koo to stay away from his own baby. This is our baby over here. You can just stay away. You shouldn't be calling that house. You shouldn't be trying to see your baby. You, sh you shouldn't be trying to make no kind of contact with the baby mother. It's over with. We got what we want over here. It is over with. Just like that. What uh, Beth told me, y'all. It's over with. And I told her one last word. I say, let me tell you something, Beth. God do not like ugly. I say, from my understanding, you got three boys. You got your husband. You and your husband are together and have raised up all three of your boys all throughout the years. And now you got the audacity to try to destroy Curdy cool from not having his own baby. You know what? What? What are you guys all about here? Yeah, you can just stay away. You can just stay away. Patricia Robinson's best friend, y'all. But yet and still, she kept her family together. Her and her husband was together with her three boys. But you over here being a narcissist right along with Patricia Robinson. So they all, y'all, just pile up on Curdy Cool, y'all. All Patricia Robinson wanted was that melon. You know, she was just in love with that melon or that pretty baby. Her skin was so pretty, so smooth and Oh, she was, she was just head over heel in love with a newborn baby and just stole the baby, hit out, dog curdy cool out, and did not think nothing about it, y'all. Y'all know what I'm saying? All the baby years are gone. Never heard a birthday, gone. Never heard a Father's Day, gone. Never seen a first crawl, gone. Never seen Merry Christmas, Dad, gone. So how, how, how do you explain that, Patricia Roberts? How do you explain this to Curdy Cool? How you destroyed this family? How you destroyed my daughter. I, I don't see how my daughter can. 
even stand to look at you. You are wicked. Ooh, you are wicked, Patricia Robinson. You are wicked. And I tell my true story, yeah. And I don't care what this wicked family says about Curtis Cool because I am telling my honest to God true story about these wicked people out here, these wicked witches. That's what they are. A bunch of wicked witches. You going to take a baby away from her own father that you did not create? And then you had your best friend involved into the situation and everybody else? And then destroying my character just to make yourself look good and feel good? And got them talking all crazy and shit about Curdy Cool. Curdy Cool standing up to be a father. You know what I mean? All these people surrounded by them trying to assassinate my character because of what these wicked witches did. And this is why Curdy Cool stand up. I tell my story. I put it out here. I expose this wicked family, y'all. Yeah. That is pure wickedness, evilness, and Hate y'all. When is this world going to stop? When is these grandmothers going to stop? When is these baby mothers going to stop the abuse? When is the government going to step in? Hey, y'all need to make this right. We don't need no 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 court law and all this kind of stuff. Sending fathers through all this pure hell. No, y'all make it right. Y'all collecting money sitting on your fat ass. Patricia Robinson sitting on her big fat raggedy ass collecting all the benefits. You know what I mean? You collecting SSI. You got them all messed up just to collect SSI, Patricia Robinson. You sitting on your fat raggedy ass collecting child support, running and hiding, and you messing everybody up. You did not think Curdy Cool was going to come back on you and spill the tea on you and expose you. So you got what you want. But Curdy Cool just exposed you worldwide. How wicked you really, truly are. That's right. I got it right, baby. Now, when this little show did you not ever say happy Father's Day to your father? Did you not say never say happy Father's Day to your blood father? Did your father never tell you, Patricia Robinson, happy birthday when you was a little girl? Did your father never bonded with you, Patricia Robinson, when you was a little girl? Did your father hate you, Patricia Robinson? Because it's, it's obviously all this hate and this bitterness and this evilness is coming out on you through your reaction accordingly to what happened to you when you was a kid. You know what I mean? You had so much bitterness and so much hate. You was traumatized for so long, yo. Now you get to see your real, true colors, baby. Your true colors is all over the world, all over the internet. Patricia Robinson, true colors. You never intend to fix it. Well, guess what? Curdy Cool exposed. The good Lord is taking care of Curdy Cool. My daughter see you for who you are. It ain't nothing else you could do or say, Patricia Robinson. You can tell all your lies all you want to now. My daughter understand the real true picture. What is going on out here? And what you did to her. With your ragged ass lifestyle, I'm just going to be honest with you.
You are so raggedy. You are so wicked and evil. And then to turn all them people against a father out here. And they don't even have their own true blood fathers. You know what I mean? You are so wicked. When was the last time you talked to those people about finding their real true blood father? Tell Curdy Cool, answer that for Curdy Cool, baby. Answer that for Curdy Cool. All of them lost, baby. Without hope. Because you brainwash them to only tune in to you. What you can get, how your needs are met. That is why God is dealing with you in a way. One day, God is going to bring you all the way to your knees. And all this stuff you bestowed on all these people, trust me, it's going to come back on you. And you will see it again, baby. Because what's done in the dark will come to the light. What you do to other people, that stuff keep building up. And it will come back around when you are least expected. Trust me, Patricia Robinson sort of reminds me of that Putin over in Russia. Patricia starts with a P, Putin starts with a P. Look how that narcissist act over there. Putin tried to go in somebody else's country and steal their whole country, destroy all these people, kill all these innocent people out here, y'all. Yeah. And try to take over somebody else's country. This is what cold-blooded narcissist people does. Putin, Patricia Robinson. Patricia Robinson sees an opportunity, mess up everybody in the home, steal a father's kid, run and hide out. So that makes you no different from Putin. You know what I mean? I mean, you got the same resemblance accordingly to the way your actions are. You don't care about people. You don't have no love for people. You got nothing but hate. You know what I mean? So I expose, baby. These kind of people, yeah. They get away for so long. One day, it hit them like a freight train one way or the other. And what is done in the dark, the good Lord will bring it to light. And you will see this again one day. You ran and hid out. You enjoyed, you and your family enjoyed all the baby years. Yeah. You did that very well. You know what I mean? You proud of that? You proud of what you did, Patricia Robinson? Yeah. Narcissists have no feelings. They don't care. You are proud of what you did and how you destroyed my daughter's life. You are proud. You didn't try to fix it. And then you're walking around in the same house with my daughter and you'd have messed over her and her father. Wicked witch, wicked witch. That's right, I call you out, baby. I call you out. I call you out. It ain't a damn thing. Them people can say to Curdy Cool. You know what I mean? Because of what this wicked witch did to Curdy Cool and his daughter. The baby mother, look, she was right along with it. All the other crazy people was right along with it. You know what I mean? So anyway, I'm in the show, yeah. Y'all yeah, have a beautiful day. I got sunshine on a cool, cold day. Nice and cool, yeah. Curdy Cool is always bubbly and happy. Y'all yeah, know what I mean? I learned to be love and peace and happiness. It shows all over your face. When you have peace within yourself. Can you say you have peace, Patricia Robinson? Take a look at this big ugly 
wicked woman. Just look, just look at the picture, y'all. Just, just take a look at, look, look, take a good look at this woman, y'all. Look at that. Look how her skin all messed up. Now, this picture here was taken like what? 15, 16 years ago now. This is not a new picture. Now, can you imagine what this woman looks like now? 15, 16 years later, and looking the way she looked. Probably looking like an old-ass woman right now. An old-ass wicked witch. Y'all know what I mean? All that stuff shows in your skin. When you mistreat people and dog people out and do people wrong, all that stuff comes out through your hair, comes out through your look, comes out through you, baby. Comes out through your bloodline, your bloodstream, baby. All of a sudden, all that bitterness and all that hate, y'all start wearing out through your body and through your health. That stuff comes back around on you one way or the other, baby. Because what you dished out will come back around one way or the other. So y'all got to learn how to be good to people. Stop mistreating people. You know what I mean? Learn how to get along with all people. Treat all people with love, dignity, and respect. Keep everybody happy out here. Not just only about yourself. All right, Curdy Cool, I'm out, baby. Have a good one. Curdy, Curdy. That is Curdy Cool, baby. Okay, bye.